honestly, we are just deceiving ourselves in this country. A kidnapper bunker has been discovered in the heart of the Federal Capital Territory. Reports claim that it was discovered when some police officers saw smoke coming out of the bushes and decided to raid it. It was gathered that about two of the inhabitants were killed by the police. Why the hoodlums were not seen in the video obtained by Switch Nigeria, commuters who stopped by the scene captured the place on phone. Why others were odd that such a place could be found in Nigeria's seat of power. Another exclaimed that there is a plethora of similar looking blind spots or bushes scattered all around the capital city. Record that on August 1st, another two kidnappers were interrupted about around the Guarapa and subsequently killed in a gunfire exchange. Mm, mm, mm. So it took smoke to come out from there before police could discover that. It took them police because from what we are saying, the kidnappers hideouts discovered opposite police headquarters Abuja. And from the reports claimed that it was discovered when some police officers saw smoke coming out of the bushes and decided to read it. See? There was a, an incident, I think two years ago or last year or so, where we heard that uh, the police checkpoint very, very, very close to where kidnappers uh, then was discovered. Also, this is not the first time and this is not the second time. Also, if we could remember the prelate, the Methodist prelate that was kidnapped, I think sometime this year, also, he told us that even those uh, kidnappers, they were just moving in front of all these uh, so-called soldiers and all of that, that the place they took them to, because the man said he's so conversant with all those bushes, that the place they took them to, the bushes or the forest they took them to, that is not far from where soldiers and police have their checkpoints. So there's nobody that will tell him that they are not aware of such things happening. So now we've been hearing that uh, kidnappers and these uh, bandits and what have you, they have been operating in other states, but people never believe that it could get to the capital territory which is the norm now so anything could be happening so if they could get there and the reason why they we were told that uh, abuja was taken to that particular place or the asurop or the the air city was taken to that place so that it would be at the center because when it was in lagos they said oh anything if any war or whatever happens so it will not be able to sweep the whole place so they want a situation whereby it to be at the center between the north and the south but see what is happening it is no it no it makes no no meaning it makes no meaning honestly the more we look the less we see in this country there's another case or a viral audio that was going viral last week a man that said they came that came back from a u.s maryland to be precise uh, he has investments in nigeria he's been going back and forth but this last one he came it's it's a sad story. The man couldn't make it. He was kidnapped as well. He was calling his people to rescue him. I don't know whether they asked them to bring one, uh, five million, but from that video, we learned that a uh, one point five was gotten at that particular time. The man was just crying, asking the whether the brother that the kidnappers were talking with that he should go and meet uh, his friends. But at the end of the day, we learned that say uh, five million was given to this so so called whether it's five million, maybe it's more than five million. But we know that after paying the five million naira, they still kill the man and other people. What do you say to that? And some people will tell you, mm, it doesn't matter. And it could happen anyway. So for all of you who are shouting left, right, and center, you see the danger on ground. Baby, you think it has not even got into you. If somebody had told that man, a lot of people have been coming like that from from the abroad. But they be, the only thing I can say is that they've just been so lucky. If the day the luck will run out of anybody, what happens? Everybody will still move on. That is just the way it is now. So nobody trusts anybody. The government is not there to help you. See the student that are still at home with the ASU. The governor or the, the government is saying that uh, they are not going to borrow money. They are not going to do this. And I was wondering, the two weeks that uh, Buhari gave the ASU or gave those who are uh, the committees of that uh, of the old thing that in two weeks time you will have you will do something but after the two is see what he said that you want you should go and beg uh, the parents the parents you go and beg us to resume with ordinary hand and uh, they are justifying it for us yes 
uh, Nigeria has the right to help other countries, neighboring countries. It is constitutional. It is this. It is. I don't understand. It's something that we favor them. They will not be quoting law. But something that they're supposed to do, no matter they're supposed to do, the first thing that a country needs to do, first education and what have you. And the rest, the, what is it called? A health, a, a health care. But they will leave all of those things and be and be telling us they want to buy a motor for another country. You want to do this? Uh, it is it is it is acceptable. It is this. It is that. The same thing. Kiyamu was telling us that a uh, a uh, bandits and whatever banditry and terrorism will continue to be amongst us. That there's no way whether we like it or not. After all, there's mass shooting in the U.S. But they will not tell you that uh, there is two four seven electricity. They will not tell you that even those who are doing the mass shooting are they not arrested they are being arrested they will get them nobody will hear that hey, oh some people just came to go and commit crime somewhere and it will they will forget it another one will happen but those who are perpetrating the evil they will not be able to get them is that the way they do it because the way they are talking they talk they just talk rubbish they talk nonsense because you are part of the government but if they are not part of the government we know how this uh, man used to shut on top of his roof when he was not part of the government it's just unfortunate. The welfare of the people is this is, is the same thing with uh, what Nigeria is experiencing. The manner at which our lawmakers, our politicians are being paid, heavily paid. Is it the same thing over there? The level of poverty that we have in Nigeria, is it the same thing there? The level of corruption that we have in Nigeria, is it the same thing? They will not be giving useless excuses. Useless excuses. Who does that? See what is happening. They are telling us that... Uh, 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 is the same thing. Police is aware. The police are aware. They yes, they killed the suspect because they wanted to hide the truth instead of arresting, detaining, and questioning them. Our police should be held responsible. When I drive past that location, something tells me that that place can harbor very bad people. I didn't even think of kidnappers. I thought it was there. It was where they sell our drugs. The poor people dying like dogs. This government is a total failure. True talk. This country is a charade. Buhari and APC have succeeded in killing Nigeria. So the best thing is to share the body among the three major tribes. It will now be left for the benefiting units to decide their own faith. All the police responsible. I will not even be surprised if such hideouts exist in Asuro. Opposite the sea and sea's residents, he will tell you he's not even aware. Nigerians, please don't vote for APC. They have failed us. So many people are dying daily because of bad governance, and they seem not to be aware or they seem not to care. They are telling us that uh, it is a normal thing. After a mass shooting is going on in the US, the police are ordinary human beings with gun as a difference. Who can withstand exchange of gun without fear of being killed? Whatever the situation. The bandit has been killed. Hmm. Exchange of gun, no be small thing. No. Hearing of gunshots alone. Now, helele. She be that idiot that is uh, practicing his own police work on Twitter is based in Abuja, but he wouldn't even know now. Since his own job specification is to be doing image laundries for internet scammers and millionaires bringers, the end shall tell. Because everything that has beginning must have an end someday that is a short thing so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this thank you